Odds are, if you're at the Canine Cognition and Human Interaction Lab, you're a dog lover just like Director Jeffrey Stevens. When I started the lab, I had one dog, um, the best dog in the world. Uh, now I have three dogs. <laughs> but in a way, he's got a lot more than that because many, many dogs stop by. People bring their dogs into campus in our facility here, and we can do behavioral tests where usually it's just games about with treats, um, and we can find out about their kind of behavior and their cognition there. It's important to get a lot of them in to get well-rounded data. We get all kinds of variations. Some dogs are great at these tasks. Some dogs struggle with the tasks. We get everything in between. Um, there's, just, there's just a lot of variation in what we, what we see across dogs, which to me is, I, I think, really interesting. Just as interesting is the other side of the work that deals more with people. But we're interested in how dogs influence humans, so how dog-human interactions play out and how that can influence human psychology and well-being. Um, what are some of the benefits associated with owning or interacting with dogs. For instance, do dogs help people who are doing mental puzzles compared to people who don't get playtime with dogs? The answer was no. Interacting with a dog didn't make people um, ha have better attention or better memory or anything like that, but we did definitely find improvements in their mood and in their stress levels and in their anxiety level. It's that kind of work that can really help people's mental health as we start to uncover just how our relationship with dogs works.